Well, tough weather to end our week, especially uh, the midweek, Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday into Friday, not so good. But the good news is the weekend looks a lot brighter, although uh, a little anticipated southwest winds uh, for Sunday. But all together, looks like it should be a good weekend. I'm Jim Hutchinson with a New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine. And a lot of boats in the region did take Wednesday and Thursday off because of some snotty weather, a lot of heave and a lot more rain. But they will be back on the grounds Friday, Saturday and Sunday, especially Saturday into Sunday, checking a lot of these uh, party boats, uh, taking that break, but we'll be getting back on the grounds on Friday. A decent start to the Black Sea Bass season for sure. That season started off in New Jersey and Delaware again on Thursday. Boats like the Carolyn Ann 3 were packed. The rails were simply packed. We heard of a few boats that were so packed they were turning customers away. Gotta love hearing that. Um, this past Friday, uh, a crew from the Barnegat High School Fishing Club, 35 club members and some parents and some teachers got on board the Miss Carolyn Ann 3 and really had a good time. Hit the rails for some uh, biscuits, had the black sea bass, had some porgies, heard of some trigger fish. Captain Brett Taylor, who runs uh, Real Reaction Charters, also the club director over at Barnegat High School. Nice job, Brett, getting those kids out on the fish. I put some fillets myself away uh, this week. Got out on uh, Captain Ralph Lair's Last Lady with John DeBona from the Fisherman Magazine and about oh a dozen or more of our closest friends. We hit them pretty good. And I got to tell you this, though. If you're getting out, if your boat's still in, you're looking for a black sea bass, a lot of folks are reporting on a lot of the smaller fish. Most of these captains have their own secret numbers. They're good fishermen. They've been doing it for a long time. Ralph himself, we went to a couple of different snags, and on one particular snag, it was double headers on just about every drop for a while. Loaded the buckets, loaded the coolers. Got to thank Captain Nick Marsa for keeping busy at the fillet table. And that's what I hope you can do for some of those party boats this weekend. Don't forget to tip those mates. Jumbo bluefish as well on a lot of the party boats. Sunday's pool winner on the Miss Belmar Princess went to Dioga Costa. 18 and a half pounds, a monster. Just one of many monster bluefish that continue to come in throughout the region, especially in the northern coast. New Jersey subscriber Guy Buono brought in this monster to a North Jersey tackle shop earlier this week. 20.55 pounds, and he's on that dreamboat leaderboard with that monster bluefish. Don't forget, you're a fisherman subscriber. You want to bring in those giant bluefish. Get yourself an opportunity to win that new Cobia Center console boat, the dreamboat contest for fishermen subscribers only goes on through November. More bluefish are coming in into the wash as well. Midweek when we got that northeast heave and some more fish you would you would think were brought into the beaches. Uh, the Long Beach Island Fishing Classic had a nice little string of bluefish on Wednesday. Harold McMaster plugged a 14 pounder that he brought into Fisherman's Headquarters. That's where we are today. I'm came over hoping to check out a couple of these bluefish weigh-ins, but Harold, he plugged that one up in Barnegat Light. It was one of a couple of bluefish, like I said, caught on Wednesday. Dan Prosita was another one, brought this nine pound, two ounce fish into uh, Surf City Bait and Tackle. Just before it started raining on Wednesday, he was using a bunker chunk. On the striper front, uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens after this blow comes through, what's gonna happen on the weekend. Uh, where are the fish are gonna be? What they're gonna be biting on? We've heard reports up in North Jersey they're taking the spoons, you're dragging spoons, you're doing well. Live line and bunker. The bunker chunks are working. David Absekin Bay Sportsman Center, he's been turning his customers on to the new Gulp Nemesis. Uh, Wes Bouchel here, he used the Gulp Nemesis on a jig head on a flood stage tide on the sod banks in South Jersey. An excellent bait if you're going to be jigging along those sod banks. At Charlie's Bait and Tackle up in Normandy Beach, shop regular Tony Mentone reported on a 35 pound 48 inch fish. That's a huge fish, 48 inches long. Uh, he caught this one eeling in the canal. So I'm sure the live eels are gonna be working as well. So get out there, make it happen because this should be the start of the run and um, hopefully the guys in South Jersey start getting those fish pretty soon as well. Speaking of South Jersey, our Northfield Sharpie, Keegan Rothman. You remember Keegan, eight years old? He was the kid who caught that big sturgeon, made national headlines. Well, Keegan's been back at it locally. He brought in this seven pound, 42 inch eel into 24 seven bait and tackle this week. I uh, understand from he and his dad that they were eating that fish. Um, it's a little bit too big for a striper bait, but nice job, Keegan. Way to go. Um, the Toggin, Jetty Toggin is back on, but 
I mentioned 24 7 they just got a big shipment of green crabs in a lot of folks are talking about a shortage of green crabs well green crabs are the way to go especially if you jetty jockeys are going to be get, getting out looking for those tog on the jetties um, it has continued that bite has continued places like barnegat light uh, Manasquan, Shark River, especially the Atlantic City Tea Jetty. Ryan Morris here, he used a greenie on this two and a half pounder this week, just earlier this week, on a jetty in North Wildwood. Again, we've got that one fish bag limit in New Jersey, but they are loaded up around a lot of these jetties. You go find yourself some green crab, you've got a good opportunity. In Delaware, their bag limit is a little bit more kind, of course, and um, this week's weather is probably going to make it a little bit tough for folks who are fishing for TOG to get into that Lewis Harbor Marina Tog Tournament. Charlie Brettenbach from Lewis Harbor, he weighed in a Tog at Lewis Harbor. He's on the number one position on that leaderboard in Lewis Harbor Marina with a 10.42 pounder that he caught at the wall on Sunday. So if you folks are looking to get out there and shake through the weather this weekend, the wall has been the place where the togger biting hard and make sure you stop into Lewis Harbor, check in on uh, getting in to that tournament. Getting back to the stripers for just a second, um, a lot of folks have been dragging wire and doing pretty well on those Tony Maja bunker spoons. If you want to get some good tips from the man himself, this Saturday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., Tony Maja is going to be out at Scott's Bait and Tackle in Mystic Island. He's got all the stuff, the spoons, the outrotters, the rods. Go in and ask Tony some questions and then you'll be able to get out there that afternoon or even Sunday morning looking to drag some wire in those big bunker spoons for some big striped bass. We are going to keep our eye on the weather but it should be a good weekend. It's going to be busy and those guys dragging wire are going to be real busy outside of Long Beach Island for the Seashell Striper Derby this weekend. But hopefully you get some action in yourself and until next week Catch them up, my friends, from The Fisherman and thefisherman.com. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to The Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.